What is going on guys? We got another repair video coming out and today we have the Razer Black Widow 2014 edition which does have the green Razer keys as the, and as you can already tell the left shift is missing so this is what we're going to be repairing today so first let me do some explanation if you do not need any explanation I'll put the time where you can just skip that explanation and just get to the dismantle video and repair video but okay let's get to the explanation part so first of all I did order the, the uh, those razor green switches off of eBay I'll put the link to that in the description I got four of them and they were like two and a half dollars so that was very cheap I also, also ordered this keycap the left shift which was kind of kind of more expensive it was like five dollars but you know I couldn't get it anywhere else and then I also ordered those rubber feet which you put on the bottom of the keyboard because I lost one so I'll be doing that as well so yeah first of all what you're gonna need to do is you will have to use solder and you will have to put this keycap and solder it into the um, to the motherboard so called or the circuit uh, so yeah, we will be soldering. If you do not know how to solder, I would not recommend this. You should find someone who can. And another thing to note is this is the Razer Black Widow 2014 edition, which means this does not have the LED lighting. So if you do have the Chroma or Ultimate Edition, I will be making a video on that very soon. So stay tuned in for that, or you can just look at my other videos on my channel and you can find it there. But anyway, this is the non-LED uh, replacement, uh, so we will only be putting on the switch and not the LED light. Alright, so one, now that we got that out of, out of the way, we're going to start dismantling it. So, first of all, you're going to turn your keyboard around like this, and you will remove those four rubber feet on the side. And once you get done with that, just make sure. There we go, now once you did all that, you can see there are four screws under it, but this is not all. You will also be taking off those two uh, uh, clicks here, you just push it off. Oh, you have to be a bit harsh with it. But I'm gonna take my uh, tool, but you can take a guitar pick or a knife and you can just, you know, push it up and there you have it. Put that aside so you don't lose it because it's a small piece. And the same goes with the other one. There we go. Put that aside. Now you got a total of six screws and you're going to be putting those out. Put all the keys out, you're gonna flip the keyboard around and take your tool or a knife or anything you're using and just start, I'd recommend start at the bottom and get your tool in here as you can see and just you have to slide it around to get rid of those clips that are under the keyboard holding it together. There we go, that's one. Alright, so now it's really hard to take that off apparently, so I broke it over here as you can see because those side clicks just hold it together so fucking hard, but that's okay, I'll be uh, just putting some glue on it and it'll be okay, but really just try not to break it as I did because 
I don't know. Kind of sucks when you do. Trust me. All right, so if you can see all the dirt and stuff that's in the keyboard, which is not mine, once again, I would be cleaning that thing up, but that's okay. All right, so now, once you got that out, you will put out those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. All right, now once you do all the eight screws, you're gonna remove those two here as well on the top. So now once you got that done, you're gonna push this down, this plastic, and put it aside. And also you're going to be removing that one, the transparent one, and just push the click on the side away and just, you know, take it out. All right, now once you've done that, you can take the keyboard up. But right over here, you have to be careful because this cable is still holding in here. You are going to push this click up and just take it out. I'm sure you figure it, figure it out. There we go. Now once you got all that done, you can just take the circuit and the whole keyboard out of the frame. All right, now you can turn it around and on the bottom, you can see that this key right here is the last shift. I mean, I can see it, but I don't know if you can. Anyway, um, so I'll get my solder heat up and I'll get back to you. All right, so I got my solder ready and heat up. Now, I will be using the solder sucker as well, which I ordered on eBay for like, uh, it was like under $2. So the thing is, it uh, sucks the solder when you are soldering uh, off the US solder. So we are going to take that solder off, and then we're gonna put in the keycap, and then we're gonna solder it back on. This is gonna, how it's gonna work. So, it's the second one from here. I won't be taking off auto keycaps because I, I don't see the point in it. So, yeah, first just heat up the solder that's already on there. Uh, heat it up and then you're gonna use the solder sucker to get it off. So I got as much solder as I could off of it. There is still no perfect hole in it, but we will make it. So now I'm gonna take those and take out the old wire, or, well, it won't go. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is hold the wire from the old switch, because it's still in there, and I'm gonna heat up the solder and then th that way I'm just gonna get it out. There we go. We have that out. Now I'll have to make the hole for the switch to go in it. I just took a sharp thing, you can take a needle or something like that and just you know, push it down in there. First, use the solder to heat up uh, and then just push in your tool that you're using.
there we go. Now, please know that this is taking quite a long time because my solder is pretty old and takes a lot of time, plus the solder sucker, I'm actually using that for the first time. That's why it might be taking a bit more than usual. I've seen other videos that people, you know, replace all the switches and stuff like that. So yeah, props to them because I'm not as nearly as fast as them. Alright, so now that I made that, I'm gonna take this one switch. Now you can see it has those two side uh, wires. So you have to watch the way you put it in, obviously, but it's not as hard because it has to be on the bottom. There, now once you've put it in, you're gonna see the two wires are gonna come out on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's right over here, but the wires are out. Now, it's actually in place. I'm just gonna take the Zinc and solder and you're just gonna solder those two wires on there. So now I might have put a bit too much solder on there, but that's okay, because it will work anyway. So, now once we got that done, we should just, you know, test it out first, right? We have to know if it works or not. So I'm gonna take my computer. Now as you can see, the LED light is on. That means it's plugged in, it works. Now let's see on Google if this is gonna, or maybe we can use something else. I'm just gonna use the search from Windows 8, which no one uses anymore, but anyway. So, um, I'm gonna move you a bit up. And you can see the search, I'm gonna use the shift and one. And you can see it's not making a one, now it's making a one. So the shift works. That's a good sign, ain't it? Right, now we'll put the keyboard together and this is gonna be it for this video, pretty much. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put on the shift like so. Now, how to put it back together, that's the question, which I do have the answer for it. First, you're gonna take the bottom yeah, sorry about that. You're gonna take the bottom housing, which I cleaned a bit, but not as much as I should. And you're gonna put the keyboard in, but you will have to pay attention here on the wire on the top. Yeah, you can see that. Just put that click up. Oh, on the other side, my bad. I just put it up and then just put in the wire and now you have to push this wire in here let's see now you're gonna put the keyboard in place come on Wait, no, you have to put it in on the right side and then it has to get in there because it has all those ports there. You just have to well, sit in, in a way. There we go. So yeah, you have to first put it in here because of the USB and audio ports. All right, now put in the screws that you've taken out First, what you're gonna do though is first you're gonna put in this plastic piece here. Just sit this wire in place, as you can see here. Sit it like that. And then just put the plastic over it. Like so. And that's how it will stay in place. Now put the screws in.
Right now, once you've put those two screws in, don't forget to put on this transparent plastic, which comes in here. Just put like one side of the flake away, so it will snap in there. Then I take all the screws you have to put in the circuit and just screw it in. Now that you've put all the screws in there, you are going to put on the top housing, which I hope you didn't break as me, but I did glue it together. Meanwhile, I was hitting up the, um, the frame, I mean the solder, so I will just put that up here. And I'd recommend that you first put in the side clicks. So it'll snap in there and then just work around it. There, now once it's in, in place, in place. You're gonna take all other screws that are left and screw them in here. Now what you're gonna do is put on those two and the last thing you're gonna put on those feet. Now I did say in the beginning I ordered the new feet which I did. I'm gonna take all this out. And as you can see, the one in the middle is missing. Hopefully you can see because the light is pretty, pretty sharp. So I'm gonna just put the new one on here. There we go. And put all the rest on there. There we go. Now once you put all those rubber feet on, that's pretty much it. The keyboard's done. And yeah. Now I did break it here as you can see a bit, but it's really hard to tell. I mean I don't need I don't know if you can even tell. So yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. I did do my best, I mean I broke it a bit on the end, but that's okay.